Danny DeVito is an award-winning actor, film director, and producer from New Jersey who rose to prominence in the 1970s television series Taxi, for which he won both a Golden Globe and an Emmy. Oh, no, no, it's just that they told me I'd be starting work today as a driver. Oh, here's my hack line. You're a cab driver? What do you mean busting my chops here? Make them believe you're a regular person. <laughs> Considering his successful Hollywood career, today we'll look at some of the real estate Mr. DeVito afforded himself over the years. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Over the course of the 80s and 90s, Danny DeVito would go on to become a huge movie star known for his roles in films like Throw Mama from the Train, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Twins and Batman Returns. But when you get to sit in a chair like in like in Batman Returns and have some artist like mess you up, it's like really cool. He's continued to have a prolific career to this very day, where he can be seen mainly in the hit FX comedy series It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And seriously, if you've never seen him in that show, then you're missing out on some of the finest comedic work ever to be put on film. While Danny might share the tiniest and nastiest bachelor apartment you've ever seen with his buddy Charlie in that series. We wind up working the same broad. No eye contact between the two of us. Wait, what? But, and they're going to encourage us to explore each other's bodies. What? And, and that's a hard no for me. No, and, for me too. Wait, what's about to happen? I'm not sure We're I want to. Keep your fingers to yourself. In real life, Danny DeVito has lived in two of the nicest homes you can possibly imagine with his former wife of 35 years, Rhea Perlman. These two got married in 1982 and had three children together. They separated in 2017, before that lived in a gigantic estate in Beverly Hills, as well as a gorgeous and freshly redesigned beach house in Malibu, California. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at two of the unbelievable homes of Danny DeVito, or as I'll refer to him, Frank Reynolds. Charlie, we sleep ass to ass, you know that. With Danny's recent PSA warning us all about how danger it is out there right now for people in his age group. Hi everybody, it's Danny DeVito, and I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart, all over the state of New York, Stay home. He's been on everyone's mind and I thought now would be a great time to give you guys a taste of the homes he's staying at during this worldwide lockdown. Not only that, I'm gonna show off an absolutely massive estate that he and his wife used to live at before it was transformed into an $80 million paradise. So I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. First up is the impressive $80 million estate where Danny and his family used to reside from 1994 until 2015. Now that's what this place looks like today. But back when Danny and Rhea sold the place a few years ago, it didn't look like that at all. While it's unclear how much exactly the couple paid for this 14,579 square foot home back in 1994, they no doubt turned a tidy profit for themselves when they sold it in 2015 for an eye-popping $30 million. Sitting atop of a cul-de-sac just moments away from the Los Angeles Country Club, the exterior of this property is surrounded by a gate and features fully landscaped grounds over the course of its two acres, as well as stone terraces, gardens, a complete guest house, and both outdoor and indoor swimming pools. The French country style mansion situated on the property was originally built in the 1930s, and while Danny was still living here, it featured six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a staff quarters, as well as a 35mm screening room and an extensive office suite. When Danny sold the property in 2015, real estate developers Stuart and Stephanie Liner snatched it right up. This couple has bought and renovated close to two dozen homes in the LA area over the past few years. They extensively renovated this property and transformed it into what it is today, expanding the already massive size to 29,000 square feet across four buildings, which means these days it looks a little more something like this. 
An extra bedroom was added to the main house to bring the grand total to seven, and an entire new guest house was also installed. The garage was enlarged to fit eight different vehicles, and one of the four buildings on the property was turned into a standalone entertainment building, which features Danny's original screening room with a mechanized wall that lifts to separate the screening room from the remainder of the space. Also located in this building is a wine cellar, a lounge, and a cigar room. Elsewhere in the home is an all marble kitchen that can easily accommodate the largest of get togethers. And all throughout the property, you'll find the nicest hardwood and marble flooring. Stuart Liner and his wife mentioned that they tried to think of every possible amenity that could be included on this property, and I would say they definitely succeeded. The home even has its own private elevator that leads from the closet in the master suite to a beauty salon downstairs. Sign me up. All right, from Danny's former home to his current one, let's take a look at the beautiful beachfront home he owns in Malibu's Point Doom neighborhood. How long Danny has owned this home is a little unclear, but what's more well known is that he and Rhea had this home resurfaced pretty extensively back in 2016. They enlisted the help of Los Angeles interior design company Carter Design who rolled up their sleeves and got to work. Carter added new floors throughout the house, fresh paint, new tiles, whitewashed brick, new light fixtures, updated bathroom vanities, and all new furnishings as well. At its most stripped down, this home is most defined by its imposing sandblasted Douglas fir beams that run overhead throughout. Carter Design took this iconic look into consideration when redesigning the home and made sure all of their decisions complemented. It. The anchor of the home is the living room and dining room area which offers uninhibited views of the ocean that's only a stone's throw away and features artfully composed furnishings. An impactful farm table surrounded on all sides by French bistro chairs and artwork by Danny and Rhea's talented artist of a daughter, Gracie DeVito. Up top on the second floor, the guest room establishes the artistic beach house vibe with a chandelier, a neutral hued bed and a sofa covered in French fabric. Meanwhile, the master suite feels calm and restored thanks to its whitewashed custom made headboard and bed skirt as well as its colorful pillows with vintage textiles. A 1930s Turkish flat weave rug ties the entire room together. There's a great sight line from the top of the line kitchen that runs all the way into the family den. Inside the den is a cozy sectional covered in a French cotton fabric and topped with custom pillows, making it the perfect spot to kick back after a long day of pretending to be Frank Reynolds. <laughs> Come on, you and I both know that looks exhausting. Overall, the entire home is fashioned with texture and dressed with colors that bring out the lighter side of life. It's an artisanal beach house that personifies the artistic spirit of the family that lives there. Speaking with Architectural Digest, a member of Carter Design told them, Danny and Rhea are incredibly welcoming and generous to an eclectic mix of friends and family, and the ultimate goal was to create a home that supported these ideals, a place that is both welcoming and restorative. I gotta say, after getting a pretty good look at this place, I think they accomplished that Cool. What do you guys think? That's gonna bring us to the end of the Danny DeVito house tour. Be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I gotta admit, as big a fan as I am of Danny, I had no idea he was living in such nice places and his beachfront home in Malibu seems like an absolute dream. All right guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.